Hello guys and welcome to my channel, Custography. Um, in today's video, I have another Hoya unboxing. This is a first time purchase from a website or a um, an Instagram page that I discovered recently. Um, it's called Studio Jesse James. I'll leave the link here on the video so you guys can give it a look. Um, but anyways, yes, um, I discovered them through Instagram and they posted a picture with um, a different types of Hoya and I was really interested in a few of them however they are a little bit on the pricey side but the only good thing about this website or well one of the good things about this website is that they do offer full-size plants full-size Hoyas as opposed to like little starter plants or like little cuttings it's one of those things where you click on the website and they have like a wide selection of Hoyas and they have uh, from that specific Hoya you can pick either 1 through 10 which Hoya you like the best and you choose uh, based on the pictures which Hoya you want to buy. So let's get started with the unboxing. Um, so I'm going to be expecting the, I'll, I'll be judging the packaging and the Hoya size and the quality of the Hoya and the packaging inside, how they package the plant and uh, we'll see if it's a good reputable source for recommendation. Let alone this is just the first time that I'm purchasing from this website so I will have to purchase a little bit more to um, see how it all works. But um, anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. So off the back, they have they, they wrote here uh, house plant only, and I think that's really good. I feel like that's really good. They also la um, labeled it with arrows going up, so that you know when the package arrives into your house, this is the way to open the box and um, and everything about that. Also, when the when the male person, the, it was the lady, when the male lady gave me the plant, she knocked on the door and on the gate, and she called my name, and then she uh, she gave me the you know she hand gift she actually gave me the box herself as opposed to like just tossing it in there and i think that's really good i'm not sure if that's just my mail lady or uh, what but i heard that a lot of people have a lot of issues with their delivery service on their plants they get tossed around and that's not the case for me at least with uh, my packages so that's really good and i don't know if it has to do with the way that jc james um studio packages their you know their plants because i really like that they uh put little arrows all over the packaging so that you know um and the person that's delivering the plant knows um, which way to handle it and I think that's really cool. So let's go ahead and get ready you guys know my unboxings I always like to do them here in front of the camera. So let's go ahead. I'm using this little racer So here is the uh, Packaging after you open it. I gotta say that it was nicely wrapped up with a lot of tape around the box So that's really nice. And so this is what you get here at the beginning. You get a nice standard packaging and I think that's really cool you can see how it's nicely packaged they put this on the side so that it doesn't wobble around the packaging of the box um, at the top here I don't know if you guys can see it you get a little bit of the um, of course you get your invoice and all the information and put this box down so here you get your invoice and you can see right here it says Studio James this is your invoice Oh look, they actually wrote some uh, like a nice. They actually wrote me something in here, which I think that's really cool. You guys could see it, but it's a nice letter. It says, "Thank you for your purchase. Please note that this is still in. This is still in a grower's pot and will need to be repotted in soil." Um, Becca, thank you. Oh, in soil or Lecca, thank you, Jesse. That's really cool. Um, I've never had a like a shop actually handwrite me. A letter and um, telling me information about the plant that's really cool so so far for packaging I think it's really cool but um there's more packaging to go here and I'm gonna do this here in front of you guys so using this little racer I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wow this tape seems to be really cool like really sturdy let's go ahead cut this out as well I don't want to like cut more than I need and you know end up damaging the plant. That's going to be really difficult to get over. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god, guys. Here is the Hoya. I'm starting to see it. Holy moly. Holy moly, what caroni. Guys, this looks This looks amazing. OMG. So first things first, packaging amazing. I love how much I struggle with the packaging. And guys, this is the Hoya. So this is Hoya Benito Tani or Benito Tani. 
guys oh my god oh my god guys this hoya looks phenomenal it's it's a nice lush juicy glossy plant it does have a little bit of like um residue from like the chlorine from the waterings i need to clean the leaves but overall guys this is such a beautiful plant it's a really nice plant this is such a beautiful gorgeous plant guys so the leaves are thick and glossy they they feel really nice and thick and glossy um some of them do have a little bit of residue that i do need to clean up but overall the plant looks in amazing shape the tendril is very nice and sturdy so i really really like that the leaves are gorgeous gorgeous this leaf right here on the bottom looks so huge so tall i love it oh my god i'm really impressed with their hoya it's a really nice healthy hoya totally amazing guys studio jesse james did a great job i love the vein in here um it looks like it has some veining if you look at it through the light gorgeous 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 oh my god i cannot this is such a beautiful hoya guys and i am in love with it so this is hoya benito tania let me tell you a little bit about this hoya and why i purchased it so this is a very really hard hoya to come by um it does produce lots and lots of flowers and you guys know um i've mentioned this before that i started getting into hoyas because of flowers i mean because of the foliage but um after my my first round of hoyas started growing peduncles and started blooming flowers you know started growing blooms and started flowering um my liking for hoyas not only did it um extend but um now I look at Hoyas and not only do I look at the foliage, but I also look at the flowers. And this Hoya, from my research that I've done, it grows lots of different multiple uh, peduncles. It's a very fast grower when it comes to growing blooms and pentacles. And I think that's what made me buy it, to be honest, guys. But now that I have it here in person, the leaves are gorgeous. And I'm really happy with this Hoya, guys. So, yeah, this is a, a Hoya from the Philippines. It's a Hoya from the Philippines. Uh, meaning that it does like to stay a little bit um, humid and um, I know I read that it grows well in Lekka it also grows really well in regular soil potting mix um, does not really need a lot of fertilizer it's a very easy grower plant you can just grow it in your live room I think I'm gonna put this in my room and see how it does here in my room but overall I'm really happy with this so yeah there's no Looking at the plant, there's really no issues with any leaves damaged or anything. Just the little residue that the leaves have from the chlorine from it being watered like that. Um, so maybe I would recommend maybe watering it with like regular filter water as opposed to chlorine. Because, um, and you guys can see the leaves are, this one looks a little bit more white than this. Just because this one has more residue on the exterior. But anyways guys, this is my first package, my first Hoya from Studio Jesse James and I think they did a really good job with their Hoya and I just cannot get over how chunky this leaf is right here on the bottom. See those mature leaves? They're like a darker green as opposed to like a lighter green over here. Wow guys, I'm really happy with this plant and I will definitely order another Hoya from them. They do have lots of other Hoyas available like the Meliflua. I think I'm gonna pick one up even though I already have one. But um, anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching um leave me a comment down below what you like about this video and yeah anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye